Hello, so I'm here with iteration 7 of my game, Origin Unknown. Um, since the last iteration, um, not much has really been added. I feel like everything's pretty concrete, solid when it comes to the design. Um, I did touch up on some terrain aspects, just kind of smoothed some stuff out, made it a bit level, um, just kind of mess with it aesthetically. Um, with this iteration and the chapters that, uh, we read and everything, um, you know, we, we discussed how playing together is important, or at least how it is important, and if, like, how can lack of play lead to, like, social negativity and stuff like that. Um, for my game, I primarily want it to be used as a way of escape. The story within is one of my own design. I've created this game fully based off of my ideas, my love of Greek mythology, um, the story within it is original apart from the gods and the myths that are within it, um, and obviously the, the Greek heroes within as well. Um, but I wanted the game to stand out and be unique in the aspect that it told a story and it held the theme of protection. Like that, that's my, my premise. I wanted it to focus on protection. I want there to be a journey. I want there to be some type of obstacles within because what's the point of having protection if there's not going to be some type of obstacle within your way? Um, obviously playing together is important in the aspect that it fosters teamwork and um, socialization as well. Um, when it comes to like the when lack of play can lead to social negativity, it's in that aspect that it causes people to become more introverted and also avoid social gatherings altogether and just kind of not want to do anything socially. I am an introvert, but I'm not a severe introvert to the point where I won't go out socially. I will, but it's I'm very closed off, I will admit. Um, but yeah, the game itself, I didn't want to limit the player to doing anything. Obviously this is the map and, and everything within it. So I'm not exactly sure how loud this is going to be, um, but I added music into the into the game. So now within we've got the game running, the music's playing. So I wanted to right now the music playing is just something that I found in core. I am in the process of um, producing my own music for the game. Um, it's it's a work. It's a work in progress, mainly due to the fact that it's kind of difficult to find some ancient Greek music, um, especially that I can relate to it. Um, I've taken a lot of inspiration from like Assassin's Creed Odyssey and uh, Immortal Phoenix uh, Rising, that, that new Ubisoft game. Um, I kind of cleaned up this area a bit. Um, the one thing I do need to do is go through and make the the Nemean lion attack, or at least have some type of enemy that resembles for attacking. Um, obviously the, the teleportation still works. Um, to do that teleportation, I just did a portal to location, and then I hid the portal. So that way, it's like you, you walk towards the book and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, you're in another location. Uh, here is Hercules, once again, I've still got him back here. His programming, I have to code the NPC so it can so we can interact with everything and they can actually go and like actually help me attack enemies and everything. Um, hidden paths obviously still here. That's not going to change. Um, some of the terrain I altered so I kind of messed with the hills a bit, smoothed some stuff out, um, moved things slightly so some of the bushes and the trees I moved a little bit uh, just to get them to look a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, obviously stone golem's still over there. Uh, one of the primary things that I did over here was that in this little Hydra level, um, I found that when I went towards the elemental and then he started moving, he was actually able to run up. Okay, well that's not supposed to happen. I'm not quite sure how that's even possible. <laughs> But yeah, so when... How? That is the weirdest... That's, that makes no sense. Okay, so 
trial and error. I'm gonna have to go in and fix that. I thought I fixed it. Apparently I didn't. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to go through and fix that. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna achieve it, but I think I'm just gonna have to mess with it a bit. Put some type of barrier up there so the way the elemental can't like directly run up or at least move him down a little bit. Um, but yeah, the the mechanics and everything are there within the game. You can heal yourself, roll. My shield. There we go. There's the shield. So he'll actually block. Then you've got the basic attacking and everything. But yeah, this game, um, with the party system in place, mainly right now they're NPCs. In the future, I'd probably look into doing. Uh, multiple players being able to play the game, but as of right now, it's just a, a single player. So with the NPCs, they form a party, and that allows um, there to be a, uh, a level of teamwork and socialization in the sense that the player is able to interact with them and then also work together. Um, but yeah, so this is the layout of the game, the music I added, I feel really fits within the game as well. The enemies do what I want them to, um, the aesthetics and the layout that I have of everything works really well in my opinion. Um, I don't really see much of an issue. Oh jeez, he ran and chased me. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, so this is, once again, the iteration 7. 